in the name of God. Hello guys, it's our YouTube channel Binary Option Smart. Thank you for subscription. In this session, I want to teach you how to work with Bollinger Band indicator. Let me add it. Bollinger Band. As you see here, active. There is some options here. This is color and period can be 10 the field you can change it close open for candles I always use open you can change it by yourself I will show you how to change it on but standard divination I change it to five you can change it by yourself as your strategy as you see and moving average type simple is good we can change it for filling the color of it so there is option here that I show you how to change these on your bot as you see we add Bollinger Band and as you know each candle has Bollinger Band by itself as you see here Bollinger Band top Bollinger Band median and Bollinger Band's button top median and button each candle has it so let me show on but as you know indicators are here and we scroll down Bollinger Bands we have this block we have to use this black because we want fresh Bollinger bands in each candles and we have to run it in every tick to have a fresh Bollinger band in each candle so in each tick set Bollinger band you can change the variable name here BB middle upper and lower as you saw here upper median and bottom for example I need the upper one input list we need add candles from here yes find candles and we need list of candles make a list of candles as you need as you see here we need input list so we use this element make a list of open or close as you saw here let me show you again indicators as you see here open close and everything you want you can add it I always use open you can change it by yourself and period as you saw here let me show it again the period and standard division of mu up multiples and down multiples a standard deviation so as you see we use 5.5 if I can I change it for example to 5 standard deviation 
and in bot we can change up and down but in chart we can't do it so I choose 5 is ok because it's an educational strategy and you see we have the upper one so let me show you with notification but because it's a list and uh, I have to use notification notify with for example yellow and variables which variables the BB because we input our Bollinger band in BB so notification us the BB and we run it journal as you see here I have to stop eight five seven four point thirty seven let's check working good or not the upper one as you see eight five seven four point thirty seven our bot working well for top Bollinger band or upper Bollinger band we need the median and the button also so I change these duplicate these for median and a notification where we go notification yes but we don't need this median with blue have some variables for in for example mm for median ll for lower change it mm and ll i notify with blue color the mm and red color for ll mm and middle to lower so let me show you what I did again let me sort it and zoom out in the first block we set the BB in a Bollinger band upper the second one and notify it here the BB with yellow set mm for middle Bollinger band as you see and notify with blue mm and set ll for lower Bollinger band and notify the ll by red color let's check run i stop it the first one here so let me go to the chart and check our what's working gold or not the Bollinger top with yellow 8.5 74.05 as you see working good the middle 8570.43 as you see the blue one and the red one the bottom Bollinger band 8566.8 as you see here you see here we just change the candle and the bottom is here
so back to the bot builder and I want to show you how to work with this Bollinger band for purchase and open the trade so it depends on your strategy but I will show you with a simple strategy please don't use this on your real account because it's an educational strategy I need logic as you know from previous sessions for example if a compare element for price that means elastic is upper than upper and equal than the upper Bollinger band upper Bollinger band that we named it BB if upper and equal purchase fall else if Elastic, let me duplicate it. I want to duplicate it. Else, if the elastic lower and equal than LL, the lower Bollinger band that we named here, set so LL2 Bollinger band lower. If elastic and our last price under than LL purchase rise and else we can't do anything we need these two if the price upper than BB purchase fall if under than LL purchase rise let me show here if the price upper than it purchase rise and lower than it purchase up as you see we are in middle and our bot with this condition doesn't trade now let me check other indexes if we have no we don't have any I change the condition to open the trade as you see here our price now is upper than the median Bollinger band let me change it to mm because I want but opens a trade I change it upper than mm purchase fall let's check the bot working or not oh I forgot I changed it which which one ten index I guess yes ten index and I have to change it to ten index and run the bot I forgot to do it and I change it yes as you see the bot open let me stop it open lower trade if it's a stop I will show you as you see our bot working good because the last tick or our price is upper than median Bollinger band as you see on chart our price is upper than it and as we said to bot purchase fall you can change it by yourself and as your strategy that you have let me tell to you what's the time frame of our Bollinger band and our candles as you see here we have one minute candle here and other type of it but in bots how can 
we change it and use other type and other time frame as you see here we chosen the one minute candle and when we use this it time frame with default which default this default of candle interval and one minute you can change it by yourself if you want any type of time frame you can change this by yourself as you know it's our youtube channel binary option smart please subscribe us and thank you for watching